What's up guys? Welcome back to another on-time upload. <clears throat> so when trying to come up with a video idea, I thought to myself, what haven't I complained about enough? And of course, weapons came to my mind, cause like when have I ever complained about weapons? But today I'm switching things up, instead of complaining outright about all the weapons, I've decided to make a nutshell video so I can subtly convey my points in a subtle manner. I just said settle twice, didn't I? Before we start though, how about a funny story? So the other day I was randomly sent a code by someone to redeem in the shop. I didn't really question what it was, but then I redeemed it and it's the Brawl League avatar. Now for those of you that have a life outside of Brawlhalla, you might not know that the Brawl League avatar is one of the most rare items in the game. And once you redeem the code, you can't transfer the item to any other account, it just stuck there. Well shoot, there goes my chance of making a profit. Oh well, I'm sure it's not really worth that much. Okay, but let's look on the bright side here. I might not have gotten over $100, but I got a cool avatar on a 2D fighting game. So, um, you know what, let's just go into the video. Since there's no ranking in this video, I guess we can just go by alphabetical order. Hmm, I wonder what weapon I'm doing first. Oh, how fun. Let me ask you something. Have you ever wanted to play a weapon with lots of damage, loads of force, abusable hitboxes, and a broken ground pound? If you answered yes to all those questions, well then you're mentally insane. And you'd like to play Axe. I know this view about Axe has been over-satirized for a long time, but Axe really is broken. It always has been just a top-tier stupid weapon. I mean, come on. There's a reason why most pro 2v2 teams need an Axe on the team. Here, just to prove my point, here are 8 matches that took place in the Winter Championship of 2022. These are all 2v2s. Three axes, one axe, one, three, three, four. That's right, all four players in this match had a character with an axe. And this is the only match right here out of these eight that had no axes. And surprise, surprise, it was the most fun to watch. And yeah, the last one also had axe. Two axes, to be specific. You see what I mean now? The only exception to this that I can think of is Boomy and Sandstorm. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, spoiler alert for anyone that hasn't found out yet, Sandstorm is taking an indefinite break, so that means we all have chances in tournaments again. There isn't really much else I can say about Axe that hasn't already been said. So let me end it off with this. I truly believe that if you put someone in front of Brahalla that has never played the game before, but you give them Axe, they'll have a better chance of winning than my parents ever being proud of me. <laughs> I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> Moving on to this weapon. Now you might be asking, why didn't I just say the name of the weapon? Well, we're gonna have a pop quiz. Ready? Go. What is the name of this weapon? Okay, obviously the answer is blasters. However, the amount of people that I see calling it guns is astonishing. Like, guys, there's a clear difference. Guns can kill people from hundreds of feet away, while blasters' range is about the length of two Subway sandwiches. I digress. Blasters are an okay weapon. You see, to play blasters well, you have to know how to space, and since a lot of low elo players don't even know what spacing is, it's not really the best pickup. However, if you like to delight spam, then this might be the weapon for you, since anyone below diamond playing blasters is just baiting for a delight combo. Here, please hit me as hard as you can. But yeah, honestly, this weapon is just all about shooting people, so if you're American, this is all for you. Alright, moving on to bow. Now, calling axe broken is a pretty divided statement. On the other hand, calling bow broken is pretty much something everyone agrees with unless you play bow, in which case, you're hard stuck in your beliefs that it's not a broken weapon. Bow is essentially the multi-tool of Brahalla. It has reliable combos, it has good kill confirms, it has great coverage on the ground, good coverage in the air, but quite possibly the best part about Bo is that BMG is in denial about how good it is. Bo hasn't gotten a nerf in 9 months, and people have been complaining the whole time about how good it is. So yeah, if you want to play a weapon that's never going to get balanced, it is pretty much the best weapon of the game, well hey, there you go. Next up is Cannon. Cannon is a really strange weapon. In the current meta, it's regarded as one of the worst weapons, yet I still stand by everything I have said in my cannon hate video. HOLD IT! Hey there, Future Tripped here. So in this part of the script, I made a little bit of an error. So in the audio, I basically just said that I stood by everything I said in my cannon video, 
The problem is, I love canon. Yeah, so long story short, I had a bit of a character arc after trying to learn canon again. I found out that it's actually a really fun weapon. Don't get me wrong, I still hate playing against good cannon players since it's like a really awkward weapon to play against, but honestly, playing the weapon itself, it's a blast. Now I'll admit my cannon is a little bit trash, but hey, I'm trying, okay? At least I'm better than before because in my old audio I said this about my gameplay. I mean, it's a really hard weapon to play, that's why I don't have any footage for it and it's just someone else destroying me, but Come on, why would you dedicate so much of your time to such a trash weapon? Tsk tsk, old me, you are so naive. I still stand by what I said about this being a weird weapon, but hey, at least it's not as bad as the old animations. It's not even being used as a cannon, it's like a door ram. Overall, cannon is a weapon that basically no one plays, but when you do play against it, you're going to get destroyed 99% of the time. And yet, when you try and play the weapon, it sucks. Alright, here comes the next one, Gauntlets. If this was truly just a nutshell video, then really all I have to say about this is... Ground Pound. <laughs> but of course, this isn't just a nutshell video, it's also me complaining about every weapon except for Scythe. Because I'm biased. Seriously though, Gauntlets offstage are just... Uh, unmatchable. Just do a couple nares, maybe a dare or two and a ground pound, and you basically got a zero to death waiting to happen. It's even worse from the fact that it's the third most played weapon in the game, which I'm sure half of those people are just Mordex players that are forced to play the weapon since their character has both of them. Unless they swap the weapon, of course. But you know, that's a whole different topic for another day. So yeah, playing against Gauntlets, basically, on stage? Good. Off stage? Oh god, oh god, no, no, no! Alright guys, moving on to the next weapon, we have the Grapple Hammer. Huh? Yep, that's right. Grapple Hammer comes before Greatsword because the E is after the A. Except, no one calls it Grapple Hammer. What's the point of it calling it a Grapple Hammer? Just call it Hammer, BMG. Oy vey. Anyways, the Hammer- I mean, the Grapple Hammer is kind of like the style weapon. Hey look guys, I'm fighting a hammer player. His name's Santi. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Santi, but he's kind of like, I don't know, the third best player in ranked? Oh, yep, yeah, oh, yep, yeah, look at him go. He's going hammer, he's going wild. Uh, don't ask why I'm playing Bodvar. I was just doing some missions for the battle pass. See, look guys, I can take a stock off of Santi. I'm good at this game. Except for the part where I rage quit. Anyways, there are a lot of tricks you can learn with this. You have the Russian Mafia, the Reverse Russian Mafia, the Russian Mafia. Honestly, it's all you have to know, and if you pull it off, you look like the coolest person in the game. <laughs> Overall, it's a really good weapon, and I'd recommend playing it if you like to smack people with side airs. Alright, moving on to Greatsword. Oh, shoot. That means we're out of time, ladies and gentlemen. I guess we're just gonna have to make a part two. Yeah, sorry to pull a mocking J on you guys, but I like to keep my videos between 8 and 10 minutes, so going with the rest of the weapons will be way beyond that time. And hey, two videos means more views! Anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Part two will be coming next week, so stay tuned. Anyways, I'm out of here.